I am ready to go out. Where am I going? Let's go out to eat. It's on me. <laughs> I feel good in my B. Simone voice. Oh my God. Damn, I cannot stop talking like that. <laughs> I'm ready to cry. This is some serious hair goals. Ty. Yes, I shaved off all of my hair two years ago. Let me see how you can go from this to this. Just keep on watching. <laughs>
So this is what my hair is looking like, pretty rough. I'm going to go ahead and get these lips right, get me some of this um, Hair Me hair cream that I make. So if you would like to purchase some, definitely click the link down below so that you can go into my Etsy account and go ahead and purchase you some. My face is dry because I used a black African soap, so I'm just going in with my cream to moisturize my face because it's balm, it's natural. You can use it all over your body. And then, of course, I'm going in and putting it over my hair in the back and my edges since I will be putting the clip-ins on top so you want to make sure that your protective style is protected so I did these cornrows in the shower but my front two was a little too big for my liking I just want a little bit of leave out and you guys look at my clip-ins this how they are looking once they have dry it's been about two days and they look good like look at these clip-ins just blowing so here I'm just going to go ahead and apply the clip-ins as normal, as usual, how anyone would do them. Just applying them from side to side, working my way up. And then, um, yeah, once I get up to the top, I'm going to show you a little trick that I do so that the actual clipping or track isn't showing. So here I'm just putting two tracks right there in the middle. And then when I have about a little, maybe two tracks left, I take a track and put it in the opposite way, like this, pretty much like creating a bang. And then I put another clip in on going the same way that it's supposed to go, and then I pull it back. So that's how I get my track from not showing. And this is the um, same way I did on my half up, half down style. That's really, really easy to do. So... Um, here I'm just going to take out my little leave out that I have. Yes, girl, let me fix this. Nap, nap, nappy. So here I'm going to go ahead and just get some of my hair out as well as a piece of the clip-in hair. And this is how you're going to get it to blend seamlessly. So as you can see, I have my hair in the clip-in. I'm going in with my handmade hair cream. Again, click the link down below so that you guys can purchase because <laughs> it is bomb. And then I'm just going to work that onto my hair because this is a protective style. So we do want to protect our hair and keep it moisturized. And then I'm going on top with this extreme wet line gel, which is bomb. And if you don't want to use this gel, I do show you next that you can use like some whole, like some um, mousse or whatever. So here I'm using these perm rods and I'm just twisting both my hair and the clip-ins together around the perm rod, stopping about midway so that we can blend our hair together with the clip-in and then still have the same texture of the hair to match the clip-ins. If you get what I'm saying, you know, so we can match our hair and then have the ends that's going to be flowing with the rest of the hair, match the rest of the hair. So here I'm taking two pieces again, my hair and the clip-ins, going in with that bomb handmade hair cream, girl. And then I'm taking some mousse, or you can use satin lotion if you don't want to use gel. I'm just showing you different options that you can use because I know y'all be in my comments. But yeah, this is what you do. Financially independent. But if you overindulge with people because the wrong ones don't all the time show up, Okay, guys, so I finished my hair, and as you can see, I was drinking some water and eating some nuts and listening to my podcast because Steven is bomb. Okay, guys, so I'm back, and it's been about two hours since I put my rolls on, and I'm guessing they're dry. You know, I guess it's best to just sleep in them to be on the safe side, but then I decided to do my makeup. I wasn't even planning on doing this much to my face, and then, y'all, I ended up with this, which is gorgeous, and I'm like... I should have recorded it and I didn't. So what do you guys think? Let me know if you want me to film it and I will because it was really easy. I really didn't do much to my face, but it looks a bomb. Okay, y'all, I redid like my makeup section over here. So that's what you're seeing over here. It looks really beautiful. All right, so back to my hair. So I'm just going to take a pick and kind of pick it out a little bit. Just pick out some of the curls because I want volume. And this way we can make sure no clips or anything is showing. So let's go ahead and take these out. So you can see my hair is blended in with the clip-in hair. Perfect. Look at this, y'all. Perfect. But wait a minute. Look at my hair. Hold on. But y'all, look at my hair with these little rollers. I want to... I wonder if I can like roll my whole head. And all I used was my handmade hair cream and that extreme wet line gel. 
Okay, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of my handmade hair cream and rub that on my hands so that I can take these loose a little bit. Just separate it a little like that. See that look? That's the look I'm going for. Y'all, this hair look good. Take this, kind of swoop it up in there. My hair is not completely dry. That's one. Oops. So definitely try to let yours sit overnight or sit under a hooded dryer. I did, and I just walked around the house. All right, y'all. What? What is this hair giving? Is it giving you life? It's giving me life. Okay, let's do these edges. So I will be trying out this edge control, which is by Unique Edge Control. And I was also sent this edge brush as well. And it looks like this. It smells good. It smells like it's kind of more fruity. It smells like an edge control I've used. Hmm, smells good. So I'll leave the link down below to this edge control so you guys make sure you go and check it out. Ladies edges. Look how well my hair is blending due to these rollers. Come through edge control. Come through. Why haven't I been doing my clippings like this? Do y'all see? Okay guys, so I'm in the gym working out and look. My edge control is still holding up. Sweating all. Go check her out. It's going on like eight hours. Girl, somebody take the wheel. Oh, do you see this blending? Okay, so this is what it looks like more so just. Oh my God, this, this look good. Uh, every time I do clip-ins, it be bomb. I'm gonna leave my other clip-in videos down below because they be bomb. But, and I haven't put anything on it. All I did was wash and condition my clip-ins. Look how beautiful they are. And again, I've had these clip-ins for almost two years. Look at my 4C hair blending in with these 3B, 3C curly clip-ins. Click the link down below, sis. Go get you these clip-ins. So let me see if I can get it more towards my face. Somebody come stop me. Oh my God. Damn. Oh. Girl, look how full and bomb this hair is. Okay, I'm done. Why didn't I film this makeup look? Look at my face. Look at my hair. Oh my God. That size. God dang. Put a clip in it. Find a clip in. Find it. And y'all seen this blending method on YouTube? Um, I'm gonna leave her link down below. Her name is, I think it's Amber Renee. I don't know, I'll leave it down below for you guys, but baby girl, you have saved my life. Okay, bye. Peace. Get me from in front of this camera. Bye, y'all. <laughs> Just bye.